Hello guys. Welcome to your YouTube channel NB Infotech. In this video, we are performing a test on a vast free antivirus, versus Bitdefender free antivirus. Let us start our first test, with a vast free antivirus against the latest malware samples. Currently, all the shields of Avast are on. Let's disable it first, so that we can extract malware samples to the desktop. All the malware samples are now extracted to the desktop. For the behavioral analysis test, we have a malware tester application that can execute exe file samples and checks whether antivirus blocks it or not. We have a total of 300 malware samples available for the test. These samples included different types of files like Android application, executable exe files, application extension DLL files, document doc files, Linux ELF files, RTF, XLS, JAR, zip archives, etc. Let's update our antivirus before proceeding towards tests with the latest signatures and virus definitions. We are performing our first test with disabled real-time protection. Let's speed up this process to save time. After the first scan, 272 infected files found. Let's resolve them, and then we will check in the malware sample folder, that how many files are removed. It is showing that all threads are gone but some threads showing error. Let's go to the malware sample folder to check for the remaining files. After the first scan, there are still 55 files are remaining in the folder. Let's perform the second scan with the enabled real-time protection. After the second scan, again 15 threads are found. Let's resolve them, and then we will check in the malware sample folder for the remaining files. As you can see, from the malware sample folder 15 files are removed, and 40 files are still remaining. 
All the shields of a vast antivirus are in the active state. Let's do the behavioral analysis test from the remaining executable files of the folder. As per the behavioral analysis test, all the files tested are blocked by our vast antivirus. Means during the behavioral analysis test, 100% of files are blocked. Even the threats are blocked after the execution, but only one file is deleted by antivirus, and the rest of the files still exists in the folder. Let's check whether these remaining files are malicious, or not by uploading some random files to virustotal.com. Our second antivirus is Bitdefender Free Antivirus. We are performing the same tests on Bitdefender Antivirus, the first test after disabling real-time protection, and second test with the enabled real-time protection, and then the behavioral analysis test. As you can see, our antivirus is already updated. So let's disable the real-time protection, to extract malware samples. We are using the same malware samples for this test. We are now all set for the test. Let's start the first test of Bitdefender Antivirus, with the disabled real-time protection. There are some password protected files, we are skipping them for now. Let's speed up this process to save time. After the first scan, 281 threads have been detected by Bitdefender. Let's take action on them, and then we will check in the malware sample folder, for the remaining files.
After the first scan, there are only 21 files remaining in the folder. Let's enable real-time protection, and continue to second scan. No more threats were found after the second scan. So we will continue towards the behavioral analysis test, on the remaining EXE files. As you can see, there were only two EXE files that were left in the folder. And execution of both the files was blocked by our antivirus. But files still exist in the folder, and not removed by antivirus. Let's upload some random files to virustotal.com, to check remaining files are malicious or not. If you like this video, then give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel NB Infotech, and press the bell icon to receive the notification, whenever we upload a new video. In the comment, suggest to us more antivirus tests that you want. Till the time take care. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.